Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another GT Online video. And for today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys about the slam truck that was just added within GT Online and telling you guys if it's worth your purchase, if it's worth your money, if it has been worth your grind. So if this video does go on to help you in any way, shape, or form, or you do just simply enjoy the bastard thing, then just please leave a like and subscribe as we're trying to hit 10,000 before May, which is my birthday. But we'll just leave that aside and just enjoy the enjoy enjoy the video okay just just watch it all the way through so we're going to start off with the price it's going to set you back one million three hundred and ten thousand dollars and you can set it in any garage you want you may have thought that you have to set it in a certain garage slot but no you can put it in any garage slot you want even though it does look quite big and now with a simple snap of my fingers we are going to teleport to my penthouse no cuts no magic no nothing just done there there you go see we're, we're we're here we're here now you can see this slam truck here it is a very clear ramp it's very clearly a tow vehicle however we don't care about that around here we care uh, how it performs outside the garage and how does it perform it performs all right uh, it goes in a straight line okay until you get to a corner just don't go around corners in this thing without it being upgraded and you'll be completely safe just don't worry about that if you don't want to upgrade the thing that's completely fine just travel in a straight line and you'll be all good now, if you do want to upgrade it and you manage to get to the custom shop in one piece and without someone else mounting your car, then you'll be brought to uh, a pretty much disappointing customization, in my opinion. There's nothing really special other than just simple front bumpers, some just some sort of exhausts, and that's really pretty much it. Other than some special liveries that you might get only on this vehicle, I can't really see anything else with customization that's quite special to this one vehicle. Which is kind of a shame because I also was teased with the low riders, the whole like Benny's thing. But uh, you can't put it in Benny's which is annoying, I did test it, it doesn't work. But customization with this thing, if that's what you're going for, there's not really that much for it in here. And you're probably thinking, after you upgrade it, does it help with any sort of wheel spin? at all with the vehicle well we'll get to that in just later but let me tell you about a cool ass feature you can make this car dance that's right if you hold a on the controller you can make this car dance i don't know what controller it is on playstation or pc but on xbox if you hold a and just simply move the left joystick around you can make your car dance now clearly this is just to get cars onto the back of it but people are going to use it to make their car dance okay this comes with the car and it's not an additional purchase but now we're going to get into the testing of the vehicle and see how quickly it can go in a straight line at the airport. So starting us off, the overall launch on this thing is non-existent pretty much. However, that's obvious as it's a really long vehicle and there's not really that much. With the upgrades though, it does get rid of that wheel spin at the beginning. So that's obviously a very good bonus because you can get to a faster speed a lot quicker. If you can even call this vehicle fast in any books as even going down the runway you can barely get to 80 miles an hour so you kind of struggle there but to get through the whole runway it takes 28 seconds and 74 milliseconds now you might think that that is quite good for this vehicle especially however let me just bring out something else I just worked the fucking repo. So this right here is just a natural street vehicle that you just saw me pick up with the car. So let's see how quickly this does the whole run. So you can even see at the beginning I cocked up. I started the timer about half a second before I even started to start the fucking car. So that was a cock up on my part. However, that won't be the only one because this car is also an SUV, which I thought was quite close and quite similar. That was just lucky. I just randomly picked this car. But it is quite similar to the actual car that we were testing. Now... The only thing here is I didn't stop the timer uh, in time. I should have stopped it just before that yellow arrow, and I didn't. And uh, it was still a second quicker. So, uh, yeah, that kind of gives you your answer. So, okay, we've seen that this car isn't really a performance vehicle, say. I mean, you're not going to be using this in your next race, are you? It's not really a performance vehicle. And I don't really think anyone was really thinking that when it came out. Maybe a little bit better turning and grip, but it, when it comes to straight lines and speed, it's non-existent. However, when it comes to the feature, as you can see, it can work quite well. However, you do need someone in the vehicle, the vehicle that's actually on the back of it, holding the handbrake or constantly spinning the wheels and making sure the tires don't pop. Because if they do, then obviously you're just going to lose the grip and the car will just simply fall off the back of the truck. 
I did also try this with a muscle car with obviously a lower suspension and that thing can also get on there as well using the feature that I showed you before about how the whole thing can dance. I would recommend holding A so you the whole thing will just lower and it's all quite level. However, even then the car will still fall off if no one's in it. So just be sure if you are going to do something like this, then be sure either the car is small enough to fit on the flat part of the back of the truck or there's going to be someone in there constantly spinning the wheels or constantly holding the handbrake on the car just to make sure it doesn't freak out. Also, be careful of lag and uh, potholes and everything else on the road that's natural. Just be careful of them, alright? They will also fuck your life up. Now, after driving this thing around for what felt like probably an hour-ish, I would say, would I recommend this to someone who wanted to just drive around and have fun? If you wanted to have fun with it and you had a couple people to go around with, Absolutely. Even if you don't have friends, just driving this thing around, if you drive up to anyone pretty much, they will just all have the exact same reaction. They will try and mount the back of your truck, which whichever way you put it can sound a bit um it can sound a bit mad, but trust me, it's completely fine. They're mounting the truck, not you. However, like I mentioned, when it comes to the performance, it's pretty much non-existent. This vehicle is just for fun, so if you want it to try and go fast or you want it to just see if it goes fast, it won't. You'll barely break 90. If you get to 100, you're going down a hill, okay? You're going down a hill. You're not going in a straight line. You're just going down a fucking hill. So, for fun, this thing is an absolute blast in my personal opinion. Do you get it? You get it? Okay whatever but it's really really fun and i would highly recommend it if you're just going to drive around in free roam with this thing however with that said i hope you all did enjoy remember go check some videos there are plenty more on channel for you guys to go watch if you want to watch some challenge videos there'll be a couple more coming to the channel very soon so go check some videos there are plenty more on channel for you guys to go watch hope you all have a fan fucking fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one